Hello, in this video, I just wanted to give you an example of what I prepare for my family um, for one day. And I'm also, I also plan to just do a quick cooking tutorial for lamb loin chops as well as beef chuck short ribs. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you the other things that I prepared for my family as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's jump right into it. So for my lamb, what I do is I just season it with salt and then I add it to a lightly oiled pan that's already hot. And then I sear the meat on each side for about five minutes. And here I am flipping it the first side after five minutes. So I sear it again each side for five minutes. So once both sides are seared for five minutes, I then pop it in the oven at 450 for about 15 minutes. So let me just say that I do have an older oven, so your cooking time may be different than mine. I would just say to keep an eye on it so that you don't dry the meat out. So in any case, I just pop mine in at 450 for uh, 15 minutes, and this is what it looks like at the end. And let me tell you that this is like every single time when I follow these instructions, the meat comes out super um, tender and moist and it's just absolutely delicious. Now, after I'm done, sometimes I'll sprinkle rosemary on top of uh, the lamb because, you know, we just enjoy it that way. But just a very simple process and it is absolutely delicious. Next, we have the beef chuck short ribs and this is a huge hit in our house i did two batches of this one was just seasoned with salt and then the other which you'll see a little later on i you put a little bit more um, spices on it for those in the household that likes more than just salt on their meats all right so let me get into the cooking tutorial for this so it's pretty much the same process as the lamb so i start off with a hot lightly greased pan and I put the meat in and I try to sear uh, it on both sides. And I'm a huge fan of searing my meat before I pop it in the oven because it just, in the end, just provides for just really nice, tender and juicy meat. So um, here it is, I'm putting it in the pan and each side we're going to cook it for five minutes. All right, normally I am able to pop this pan in the oven, um, but because I'm doing multiple batches of this specific meat, I'm not gonna be able to. So I am just going to transfer this to a cookie sheet so that it can hold everything and that way I can pop it all in the oven. And let me just say, I absolutely love my pots. I've had them for years and it's just so convenient to be able to sear the meats most of the time and just pop the pot itself in the oven. Um, oven safe pots are just absolutely wonderful. So anyway, here I am going on to the second batch that I mentioned earlier, and that's the batch with um, a lot more spices on it for those in the household that want um, more that want more than just salt. So same process again, um, searing it on both sides for five minutes and then we're gonna put it on the cookie sheet with the rest of the meat and then pop it in the oven. Pop it in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes because it's a tougher cut of meat. And keep in mind that my oven is older, so I would just say keep your eye on it so you don't dry the meat out. But 30 minutes works well for my oven. So here it is at the end, and I did put it in on covered, and it was so delicious. And I ended up just transferring it to a smaller container so that it can look um, YouTube ready. Look at me getting fancy. 
So in any case, it was absolutely delicious. And like I said, whenever I prepare it, it's something that everyone in the house really uh, enjoys. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I wanted to also show you some other things that I prepared for my family this specific day. For some of the children, I ended up making this Amy Lou sausage and I just cooked that up in the pan and made some eggs as well for breakfast for some of the children. And for myself, that on this particular day, I ended up making a sardine pizza. You can click on the link above to get this recipe. So simple and absolutely delicious and super filling. So I had that for one meal and then for my second meal, I just ended up having one of the short ribs and a piece of lamb. And that was it, I was satisfied. So anyway, hope you, oh, I also wanted to mention, I ended up making a side of uh, cauliflower rice for those who wanted to eat it with any of their meats. And that was pretty much it. That's what we had for the day. Hope you enjoy this video. You be blessed.